Well, I think I'm going to be able to just spend a little bit of time showing you a little bit more on the can fill sensor after the update in the beer garden there. So I'll rush through this quickly. Uh, what I'm doing here is dropping a 5 volt line into the beer and uh, this is now representing uh, the fill tube and we'll start the cycle by pressing that button there and you can see that the fill tubes will have descended when these three LED lights come on. There we go. So now the beer's filling. But the trick is, and I'll show you on the uh, serial print, we want to trigger the sensor, but not trigger the foam. Or the foam. <laughs> the foam wants to does not want to trigger the sensor, but the beer does, should I say. So if we just touch this into the foam like so, that's just in the foam there, you'll see that the three lights are on and we've got a read on the serial print of around 356. So I'll push in a little bit deeper, look at that, 603. So now the light has gone out. So this triggers, I've set it to trigger at 500. So again, we'll do the same thing, see if we can get the light in shot. There we go. That was uh, 564. And the final one, if we just touch the foam on the edge, there we go, we're into the foam, but the light's still on. Can you see the light? Still on. And we've got a reading of around 112, 117. That's fine, because the foam is not triggering it. I push it down into the beer and there we go triggered and it was 557 or thereabouts so as you can see thanks to the guys on the uh, uh, github platform which is linked down below we are troubleshooting and um, developing this code more and more every day and it is becoming really quite a versatile piece of kit. And I think that it's going to really work quite well when we put it together with all the hardware. So I've got the steel ordered and the steel should be with us on the 16th of May. Hopefully we can start the build after then. We have though, as you've seen, been busy in the beer garden. So we'll put that project to bed first. Uh, but there we go, folks. We're still pushing. I'm really I'm back at work now, so I'm I'm busy busy. Uh but I will try and keep well I will keep these videos and updates coming because this is really a, an exciting build. So the next stage of this is for me to try and get a uh circuit board printed. I need to figure out all this wiring here and translate that onto a circuit board. Uh piece of circuit board designing software I've got the software and then get some circuit board printed so we can start to pop things like this into a circuit board instead of having a breadboard so there are diodes resistors MOSFETs all that kind of thing and then also there'll be a, a 12 volt um, inbuilt power supply unit uh, that needs to be incorporated in here as well, uh, as well as a slot for us to stick, well, hopefully, just stick the Uno in. That would be nice, wouldn't it, if we could just slot it in to the circuit board and then bolt it all into a control panel on the can filler. That would be really cool. That's if we stay with the Arduino Uno, though. The guys are talking about changing over to an ESP8266 or an ESP32, uh, whatever, whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, we're having the discussions happening online now on uh, WhatsApp, as you can see. So uh, I will get back to that, and I'll let you get back to your evening, because it is the 5th of May today, and it's an absolutely glorious day outside, so... I hope you're all enjoying your time, whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.